folks, Video Excel by NG Labs here to show you how to create charts in Excel 2010. Excel consists of various chart formats and uh, the one that you want to choose for your data set depends on what you're trying to represent. For the data set that we have here, which is uh, showing uh, the salary of uh, these uh, people right here, I think that a bar chart would, uh, would do the job. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, start creating a, a chart. To create a chart, we would uh, go to the desired cell where we want the chart. Go to uh, Insert. We want to use a column format chart. 2D is fine for the work that we're doing. And uh, basically what this will do is it will uh, set up a blank area where you can chart the information. We'll talk about the design, layout, and the format of the chart later. But uh, first, let's go ahead and add some data to this chart. To do that, let's go ahead and right-click and uh, click on Select Data. So the first thing that we want to add is, uh, is, a, is a series, which is uh, basically your values. And uh, in this case, the series would be, and I want to name the series as Salary these would be the values that will go on the y-axis alright click on OK alright now you'll notice that at the bottom of the chart um, the information is actually shown as uh, as the record numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 well but I have corresponding names for each of these uh, values or each of these uh, uh, columns that are represented on the chart in order to edit those, I would just go ahead and under the horizontal category um, axis label, I will uh, click on edit. All right, and uh, just go ahead and select the range for my chart and uh, press OK and press OK. Now, basically, what we have here is a nice chart with uh, all of the names and their corresponding salaries. Now let's say if I wanted to change the theme of this graph, well I can easily do that uh, by selecting the chart and under design I can choose any one of these themes. Um, so let's say if I wanted uh, let's say maybe a gradient theme for this chart, I can go ahead and select that and uh, there you go, you've got your chart. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do with this chart. Well, you can definitely edit the title. Um, let's just go ahead and call, call this uh, uh, performance review. And you can, you can name it anything you want. Um, and also, you can uh, edit the, the legends uh, of this chart. But uh, let's look up a little bit then. But now, let's go ahead and look up what's under the layout option. Let's say if you wanted to edit the grid lines for this chart, uh, make sure that the chart is selected and then under grid lines, you can add or remove grid lines. So right now, um, this does not have any vertical grid lines. But if I wanted to show all the major vertical grid lines, I can actually do that by selecting that option. Um, you can also do the same thing with horizontal grid lines. Um, you can uh, change the change how the information is displayed on the horizontal and vertical axis and let's say if you wanted to put data labels on those uh, bar charts so uh, you can uh, just go ahead and click on that and uh, let's click on outside end and basically this will show you the uh, the corresponding numbers for these bar charts so a lot of options that you can edit and you can manipulate the chart uh, to be anything uh, anything you want you can also add a trend line to your uh, uh, to your chart and it could be a linear exponential or just a forecast trend line so um, anything you want you can uh, you can add to this chart you can play with these different options and modify the chart so that it fits your uh, data needs all right, well, that was just a quick tutorial for uh, adding the chart to your uh, spreadsheet. And if you have any questions, please be sure to mark them down in the comment section below. 
and uh, check out more great tutorials at www.mdglabs.com.